Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. So we ran into the wolf and, well, he's got a few issues, to say the least. It's probably a giant understatement. But uh, now we have to explore all of the other areas of the herbarium. Uh, there's also the other quest that kind of goes in tangent with this, in, in Wolf's clothing, where we can talk to this Einar about this curse, which I would really like to do. Uh, but I believe that that's outside of this garden area. And, oh, is that what's back there? Have we... I don't think we're getting through here. Let's just check that out before we go. This whole back area of the herbarium is actually kind of tricky to navigate. Like, we would... I just stumbled upon these things, but thankfully we did. What is this all about? Key. Oh, okay. The key? Who's he? <laughs> all I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key? Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent? Ramond, you thief, you rogue, you whore son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Wow. Oh, well, here we go. You can end this or release me. I don't know that we can. Even if I finish him off, that's not going to do anything for us. Farewell. I'm hesitant to do that in case See he. Soon. In case he rebels or something worse happens. What is this here? Draft from below. Cave. What? Talk to the Arnir about the curse, get rid of the werewolf, find a way into the flooded cave under the lair. He said he was looking for a key. Oh. Ideal friend. Patient. Doesn't mouth off. <laughs> Polymorphy. Okay. To change form, to shape one's matter as clay, this is no novice's trick. No flickering glow light or rat killing blue bolt. Only those with bowels soaked in oceans of magic arcana and few are born with bowels so absorbent can hope to master it. There are exceptions, of course. Dragons, as is well known, possess such a talent innately. With no need to study, they can, guided by some otherworldly intuition, change between humanoid and reptilian form. As for the other races, races, higher vampires, like Brookside, uh, are known to flicker between states, yet given the understandable difficulties of conducting research in this area, we do not know if this transition constitutes an act of polymorphy. The human race is, obviously, much more accessible to scholars of polymorphy. Their years of study have borne fruit in the form of a set of methods and guidelines for the identification, nurture, and deployment of this talent. The most accomplished result of the careful application of these methods, Philippa Eilhart. Yeah, I would say she's right up there. That is for sure. Okay, so now we have to find a way into the flooded cave under here. Which is... Through there, isn't it? Which means we're gonna need to get one of these going. Okay, that closes that gate. Let's actually keep that open. This one switches the gate that we actually... Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that one before. The 
floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Okay, so I thought that one switched which gate we controlled, the other actually did the move the gate up or down. Okay, it did. Now it's doing nothing. What in the world? Okay, now that brought that one up. Which is probably where we need to go, but now I'm intrigued about... How to get that other one open. It's a very bizarre mechanism. The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Okay, let's switch it again. It seems to be opening that one again. But I'm kind of curious to see if I can get that one open so I can get out of the garden and go talk the to this Einar. Open, but nothing's happening. Let's see if this switches back to that middle one again. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're out of the garden. Hopefully, Morkvark doesn't come out of the garden. Seems he did not come to play. And here we are again, the majestic views of Skellige. Snow-covered mountains never hurt anybody. Except for adventurous witchers, I suppose. Okay, well this will certainly be beneficial because I'd like to know how to lift this curse once and for all. You're a ye dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keel haul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All Those right, are my apples. Away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Okay. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeps from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Not dealing with the ordinary. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that. Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. 
that you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Okay, so... Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. That's not a lot of help, to be honest. He did nothing for how to actually solve this cure, or this curse. Greetings. See ya. Goddess, guide your... At least as far as I can tell. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Well, we'll just follow our own lead then, because we have a way into the flooded cave underneath. We were able to open up that other gate. Oh, Roach is up there, isn't he? And by he, I mean she. Well, we tried to get as much information as possible. Oh, it's these bandits freaking her out. Come on. Nobody. Nobody hurts Roach. Oops. Oh, she's losing it. Alright, she's calm now. Now, is this going to take me back in through... I think it wants to take me through the front, but... Now, this is locked, unless... Here we go. We'll just go around. Yeah, see this peg in the middle here? That represents, I think, the one that we're trying to open. There we go. Wish I would have seen that previously. Hello. Okay, what's in here? Petri's filter? We'll take that. Padlock key. Unlock the chapter house doors, okay. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. This must have been the opening from above. There is moving here. Maybe not. Must be another cave above. No, that has to be the one. Okay, now we can unlock these doors. That'll probably provide us some additional insights. Hold on. Is there something else here?
Hopefully this gives us some way of figuring out how to actually solve this thing. Hello. The ain't shed and ain't L. Mork oh! Read Morkvarg's journal. We usually need something personal to lift a curse, right? This is not what I want. Here we go. Day 24, Cho Chostar the Wise has proven unworthy of his moniker. He paid me not to attack his village, and then, pleased by my own cleverness, called off the watch. Never had easier work in my life. We slit the men's throats in their sleep and plowed the women till dawn. Not much loot, but primo enter entertainment. This guy is clearly... I mean, clearly a bad dude. When we were sailing from Ren Vag, we heard owls hooting, an ill omen, so I ordered us to turn back to shore. Puck laughed about how I'm supposed to be so brave, yet I'm afraid of the gods. I tossed him overboard with a knife between his ribs, but I could tell I'd lost a bit of respect in the lad's eyes. We'll have him do something to prove I've still got the biggest prick on board, keep them from getting any stupid ideas. Our visit to Hindersfjall was a success. Priestess is dead, monument smashed, holy tombs burned, mead barrels drained. We divvied up the silver, I took the votives, our votives, nor else son of Odlik took the basins and spoons. Mon, son of Gudvar, took the candlesticks and jewelry, while Einar, son of Chor- Oh! Tordor forfeited his share out of fear of Freya's wrath. Fine, all the more for us. Tomorrow we'll sail to Spike Rook, see what the merchant wrenches have brought to market. So, wait a second. Yeah. There's something that he's not telling us. I mean, I didn't think he told us much anyways, but now there's even less than he told us. Radovid the fifth. Long claw. Fire elemental. Okay. Some butter. Zeracanian blinders. I don't suppose. Oh. We could use those for sure. Well, this story is coming together a little bit, isn't it? The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. And let's open it. I don't know how I didn't notice those pegs before. Run, Roach. All right, let's go. So not only does he know who he is, he's actually worked with him. So it'll be interesting to see how he covers his ass here. Take it easy. Last night was Hey Einer, guess what? Readings. Praise prayer. We have an issue. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Swear what? Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. Yeah, you better introduce us. <laughs> Let's see if we can settle this another way, maybe get what we want out of the curse. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. 
Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Can yes, okay, Bart's thank curse. you. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok, the day after, actually. It's kind of important. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself, till Morkvar gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I've raided often and cruelly, killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over, and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Wow, Spoke okay. True, it seems. Your pop pop mentioned how to reverse this. Victim needs to get the fang, is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Oh, come on. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right. Take it, but it don't come free. Want one thing in return. What do you tell want? Tell about your past. Give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. <laughs> Once more, Fox human again. You can't let him leave, no matter what. So he is obviously worried about him. Um, okay. Thing is, even if we reverse That's the curse it, and then we kill the guy. What's any different from killing him? I guess the thing is we can't really kill him the other way, right? So this is the only way. He's obviously terrible. I'm not sure how we want to handle this exactly. Is this our way? That's kind of a cool little area. I'm kind of tempted to go see what Yennefer thinks. If we could run some of this by her, but... She wasn't very chatty when we saw her last. I'm still gonna try. Fact of the matter is, we need to do this to appease those women and get some more information. Yes? No. Okay, cool. Use the fang or find another way to lift it. Is he back in his lair, or is he above? I think he might be up here again. Yeah, he is. Come on, Morkvarg. Let's give him the fang. Here, put this on. I need uh, no more fangs. You may want this one. Don't be a smartass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh! Where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. <laughs> no, a side of beef. Uh, uh, wash it down with a cask of ale. Uh, then to see. 
They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang. Oh, and God. Big rad everywhere. <laughs> I'm back. I don't know. Oh, yes. Let's get the reward and then decide how we want to handle him. Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. You'll go to Novigrad. To the bits. Find the vulture, the moneylender. Tell him Morkvark sends his regards. And you'll know me to be a generous man. Very well then. The sea beckons. What? So can I not... Yeah, we can. I can't have this guy roaming. Let's end this. Yep. I don't even feel bad about that. What he wrote in his journal. Like, it's one thing for people to talk poorly about him, right? But it's another ah. thing to have him full on admit it and be proud of it. So, reward from the pawn shop in Novigrad we can do any time. But I, could, I can't on my good- any level of my conscience let somebody like that go free. Gonna do in this big house. Oh, you Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. Oh, okay, so. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvard to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, Murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Alva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Hmm. Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a werewolf? I know not. I... I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame, that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him, help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. Which he we've saw done. Mark Varg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that? Mark Varg is gone for good, guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. 
I'll give it back to you times three, if necessary. Now, we probably have to go... Yeah, we know all about pinning. Please be careful. Now I've got to get back in there. It says to explore further parts of the herbarium, but... I wonder what else is going to be in there that we need. Maybe we just need to talk to Yen again. Okay, now let me do a little bit of detective work here. Oh, you know what? I think I know what area it's referring to. Because on this other side, there was kind of like a small pasture. I, I don't know if pasture is the right word, but... On the other side of the stream... Now, how did we get into there, though, is the question. I think we went... Can we go through the middle one? The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Here we go, this area. What are we looking for out here? We've got something going on. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Okay, let's get our torch going here. Oh, it changed, uh... Oh, okay. Craven's yep, blood. they changed some of our stuff. Craven's blood. been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've it's seen not good. <laughs> in a better condition than this. It is not good. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Oh, my beautiful Come Yen. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Are you gonna reanimate him? Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered <laughs> by such foolishness. Ah, uh, Yen. I know that you understand the consequences here, Black but... magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Alright, do what you must. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. 
The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. <laughs> She's bullshitting us. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. This is this is called discussing the plan, Yen. Just working things out. I'm not poking holes, just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Give We're like an old thought. married couple. No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on it's time. It's not that I don't trust her though, like that's <clears throat> the important thing to note. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. I was gonna say we just keep it a secret from the priestesses, but uh, it's gonna be harder to keep this a secret. Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I. That's the name that the... That's the name the priestess was gonna say. But they cut her off. You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. Well, I figure... A young woman. Ashen okay. hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She's wise. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! <laughs> Speak! She fell oh, almost found. Here we go. Oh, she just fell out of the sky like that. That's probably the mage. Yeah, the masked mage. Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned. Dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall. Village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long were we out? How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morning when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. 
Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. No, I don't think... Well, probably for the right reasons. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes Not like they most. have no choice. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? <laughs> no. He simply doesn't like others to see it. He did have, like, these very stark, light green eyes. And I'm going to be on the lookout for anybody else like that in the future. Help. Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. You don't know the half about my blood. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry. But I must get to Drowned Dead Rock. As fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine. That'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh. There's no need. Now come. We gotta sweat the sick out of you. Yeah, please do. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. They're nice people. 